Hello, Nick Anderson here with the editorial cartoonist with the fake news media doing a cartoon about that idiot Oliver North comparing the Parkland protesters with terrorists as if people whose children get shot are somehow terrorists. Just shows how extreme they are, the uh, NRA types, not the Parkland students and parents. These people are just absurd, and yet they just keep getting away with this kind of rhetoric because Americans let them. People who vote for long uh, NRA lines tend to be single-issue voters. They will do anything to defeat anyone who is in favor of even modest gun control, so they are feared. It's not that they are in the majority, it's just that they are feel so intensely that they are feared. So, let me... I am now doing the color portion. Whoops, okay. That's not working like a dry that layer and then I can add some shading to it. So I'm in a watercolor variant right now and basically it accumulates as you paint layers over it. So I'm gonna have the light source coming from up here. I think that'll work. I need blue. That's not the right color of blue for the American flag. It's going to be more in there. That's close. That's pretty close. So I'm going to just paint the field and then go back in and erase the white stars. Because that's a lot easier than trying to go around those stars. Shading, well, that's a little dark. I'm broadening the brush, I'm making the brush size larger. So before I uh, go and erase that white, I'm going to add some shading in. So now I'm going to go in here. I'll make this brush a little smaller. That's my eraser. Doesn't have to be perfect. I have a relatively early deadline on Mondays of 2 p.m. and I'm pushing it so my Monday cartoons tend to be a little bit more rushed. I, to, I get up early, get going. Um, so there's not a lot of room for screw up. I tend to have an idea ahead of time. I had this last night but I didn't want to start it in case something big happened. Plus it was Mother's Day. I had to spend some time with my girl. Yes, she's a mother. Alright. It's a little too dark. I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. So I've got right here. I got to get rid of this. I got to erase this because that gray from the layer above is messing up there. See that? So now I gotta go back to this layer below and color in these skin tones. I'm using a different brush. I tend to use the acrylic brush variants for skin tones because I like the texture better. And it's a little bit more opaque. 
just a little bit lighter. Add a little shading. Oh, that's a little too dark. Now, well, let me add some shading in down here, consistent with my light source, which is coming from up here. Again, I'm a little, I'm rushing a little bit today to meet that deadline. Add a little bit of uh, highlights in here. I darkened it a little too much. And then, this is important, I'm going to go back in with a watercolor brush and add some crazy redness around the eyes. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now I'm going to start a separate layer. I'm going to go with, I guess, like a olive drab for the jacket. Kind of military looking. gun black. I guess I could make the stock wood, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm leaning toward just making it all black, gray. I don't need to be real careful here because I can come back and correct and refine later on. So this is just to lay in general color. If I had more time, I might start with a lighter color and progressively get darker, but I don't have the time. Yeah, I've got about an hour to finish everything. Maybe a little less. Alright. Now I'll lay in some shading. Now I don't want to just use stick with the same color. I'm gonna use a brown. When you stick with the same color, it starts to look blah. Nature does not have a single color in a color. That makes sense. There's a lot more complexity. The eye might blend it together as one, but there's a lot more complexity there than you realize. And if you make it too simplistic, it looks too cartoonish, so to speak. So, a little bit more shading. I'm using brown, as you can see grayish brown but the eye is still reading it as green because the color the base color is green some of that. So 
I went over the lines a bit too much, but that's the advantage of using layers, is I can come back in here and clean it up. This is going to be one of the straps for the gun sling. Alright, that looks alright. Pretty cool. So I think I think I'm gonna darken up his undershirt a little bit. It blends in a little too much. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, now the guns, another layer. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go with grayish, black. Okay, except for the slings, I will do brown, kind of like a leather look. Let me add some shape to this. Okay, this is moving along quickly. I always work faster when I'm recording myself. I guess I get self-conscious. And I don't want the video to be too long. Alright, erase some of this where I've gone over. That doesn't bother me that much. Maybe I'll come back and fix that later. It's on a separate layer. Alright, the sling's gonna be kind of a leather look. But I don't want them to pop out too much. I want them to kind of blend in with that green. not to the point where they're also green. I just don't want them to be distracting. Okay, I guess that works okay. Give this NRA tag a little bit of a... Uh, I don't like how white it is. I don't want it to be yellow. I'm going to go with a real pale yellow, kind of a beige-ish. Alright, a little bit of white highlight around it. And then I'm going to go with... I feel like that's a little too blue up here. I might fix that later. But right now I'm going to work on these back here. Oh, well, you know, Earth calling people terrorists when he's the one who armed terrorists. Iran is on the State Department sponsor of terrorist list, and he was arming the Iranian government, helping out a terrorist government, and then he has the nerve to call protesters terrorists. What a colossal jerk. And the Interceptor's reporting that he was looking the other way while he was funding the Contras and who were also drug lords. They were running cocaine. So also drug smugglers. What a bunch of hypocrites. Here, it's just a little too. I'm gonna put some gray in here. The, the the white stars are a little too white. Give this a little bit more shape. The 
Oh, you know, one of the problems is I'm in the wrong layer. There, this is the layer I should be in. There we go. Okay, well, looks a little bit better. Not a huge difference. Give the eyeballs a little shake. I look at it smaller to see how it's going to look to people who look at it around the size that it publishes. It looks okay. It's not my favorite drawing. It still needs work. Um, I'm going to put the, uh, like I said, I'm going to put blood spatters in. Uh, I'm going to show you the step that I usually don't show. First I'm going to save this. Delete this layer, drop it all into one layer, uh, I'll rename it later, don't have time. Um, open this back up in Photoshop, open up the line art in Photoshop, so there. Now I've got the line art as a separate document or separate layer. I've got to put these in so it knows where to find the edges. <clears throat> I'm going to take this and put it in its own channel. Copy that. And now this needs to be the same resolution and same channels. Now it's a CMYK. Needed it 800. I do it a paint it at a lower resolution so that Corel Painter doesn't bog down. And then I put the black into the black channel. Only in the black channel now, and that way, when it's printed in a newspaper, it and the registration gets messed up, it doesn't get all blurry and fuzzy. That will only make sense to a few people, but trust me, I got to do that. Now I'm going to come in here with white, and I'm going to get, I'm going to lighten a lot of these lines that are just a little too dark. And let the color come through a little more strongly. It makes it look a little more painterly. Keep a file of spatters because sometimes for this kind of thing I need them. Um, I didn't like those ones. Now let's go back to those. Well, now it's not finding them. having so much trouble finding these. Let me go back to these ones. All right. I have a lot of them, as you can see. I have some of them in color. That's what I'm looking for, but I'm not finding them. Sorry for the delay. Let me look for splatters. Now, if I can just find one, I'm going to go back to the first one. Here we go. Okay. 
Now I put this on a separate layer. And I'm not going to leave it like that, but you get the idea. I'm going to move these around so that they're kind of around him. And I'll show you a little bit what I'm talking about. I want them around him, not covering his face. And I also want to change the size. So I don't want these all over his face. That just looks strange. I'll put that on a separate layer. Make sure you can see through that. And I'm going to keep multiplying these. And I'm not finished yet, but you can check back later to see how it turned out. I don't want to hold you around to... Uh, it'll take forever for me to get this figured out completely, so I don't want to make this video too long. Just check out the final product. Thanks a lot.